take you along today. It is a stunningly beautiful day in Florida. It is like 50 something degrees, which is shocking because it's almost May and it's perfectly sunny. So I think I'm going to enjoy the day and do some reading outside. I'm going to set up a little area and enjoy it. My dog is barking, maybe a hammock a little bit, and then just do some things around the house. So I thought I would take you along for my day. Right now I'm on Assassin's Blade. I've already gone past this book technically, but I just got it from the library the other day and I want to catch up, go back and read this one. So I'm on chapter, I think I'm in the middle of chapter five. So I'm going to film a TikTok of my thoughts so far reading this. So I'm gonna take you along for that. So I've been filming a lot of like reviews and reactions while I'm reading this series and a couple others on TikTok. So I'm just gonna catch up and do that because I, did this with the first Throne of Glass book and then I completely forgot for some of the later ones and so then I did like a catch-up one and they're not live which is way more fun but I if I get too into the book I completely forget and then I have nothing to say because I've already started learning everything that's happening so yeah we're gonna I'm gonna do it now before I forget so, because I want to be reading this book today and enjoying the beautiful weather. Let me show you. Yeah, so that's, that's not my back door, but it's just like this sunny, crystal clear, beautiful day. And the weather is, it was in the, it was in the 50s this morning. So, I think it's probably in the 60s. But the high today for Florida, it's crazy. The high today is like 70, and that's in like a couple hours. So... That's insane for Florida, I'm really excited. So I'm gonna go read this, but let me make my reaction video first. My phone is dying, so I'm definitely gonna sit on the floor so that I can keep it plugged in while I'm doing it. And also, I have a bookshelf back here so I can uh, make it look like I read, or I don't know. I guess I do read, I don't know why I'm saying that, but <laughs> so it looks more bookish on my little book talk account. Hello, book talk friends. Two pages left, so I'm gonna finish these pages real quick. Okay, I finished it. I wanted to finish it last night, but I guess I did. Just as a reminder, if you have read this book or the series, this will be so All alone, again tonight, but you don't seem to forget about yourself. TikToks and I kind of forgot that I was filming for a second 
and I made a bunch of TikToks and edited them, which was great because I have not been doing that a little bit. I keep making drafts and then like they're not recorded enough to like be completed in post. So then it's a bit of a problem. So I had a lot of fun ideas. So I decided to roll with it and do that. So now I just finished eating and I just had some leftovers from our Easter dinner that we made which is so cute. Yeah, we hosted Easter, my husband and I, for the first time, and so we did a whole bunch of stuff. So we have all these desserts, which is really exciting. It's been super hard to not like try to eat them all. <laughs> so we have brownies and coffee cake and like regular cake, too much stuff. So now I think I will go read now outside because it is still so beautiful and I have not been outside at all today, which is not good. So I think I will make bring some coffee or a drink outside and we can get to reading more of Assassin's Blade. I'm so glad I did my little reaction to up to chapter five. Basically, I've read the first five chapters and I've already read most of the books in the series. I'm on Empire of Storms, so pretty far in. We only have um, two books after that, I think. Yeah, only two books after that. But I was watching someone's video on TikTok and they kind of reminded me that um, I should read Assassin's Blade and that it's one of their favorites and so I ended up getting the rest of the books to finish the series and went back a bit and got Assassin's Blade and got Crown of- no. Queen of Shadows. Got Queen of Shadows. Which I've technically already read. It was the book before Empire of Storms but I read it like the library ebook reader. And I kind of hate when I read books on that. It's like in the moment, I want to know what's going to happen next. And so I just kind of go for it. But it's, I really, I don't have the same like experience. I feel like reading it on my phone as I do on like, like a paper copy. I feel like I kind of speed through things and I don't know. It's just a different experience. So I got it again and I may kind of like reread parts of it or reread the whole thing. I haven't really decided. Throwing up glass has been an interesting reading experience because I really like parts of it and I like a lot of the characters so much. I do. But there's parts of it that I'm not loving as much or I'm not as interested in and I don't know if it was just like, I feel like I read this a bit different than other stories I've read so I'm, I'm hoping it's just that and like it stressed me out a bit so maybe that was just it and I feel like I kept reading at night for some reason with this book. I don't know, I feel like that's a different reading experience than if you're just kind of like casually reading. So I'm gonna reread some of it. But I'm on Assassin's Blade and I'm loving it. I'm so excited to read this book. Reading this book is a vacation from reading the rest of the series. It's so much more relaxing so far. A, because I kind of just, I know it's gonna happen so I'm not stressed, like worrying about the characters that much. I'm sure it will get that way a little bit, but I'm just really loving hearing the backstory and like knowing where they're going. All right, let's get to reading. Became weeks, it felt just like the night. 
night before You were slowly fading in my mind When you left I was so completely gone But now I'm sure